Hey guys, this is Meredith from LimeCompass.net on a sunny day in April. You can hear the children in my neighborhood going wild. Um, I have a few minutes and I'm just going to um, show you some catnip, some Nepeta cataria. Told you about the kids. Um, this is some renegade um, catnip that's, um, that's coming up. I say renegade because it seeded itself. And um, catnip is just this <laughs> wonderful, um, wonderful herb um, that is in the mint family. It has a square stem. I don't know if you can see this. You'll feel the square stem. And it is um, very helpful with gut issues, GI issues. Um, it's known as a carminative or uh, calming the stomach. Those of you whose major issues are, um, are uh, stomach pain, GI pain, IBS stuff, um, gas, bloating, and anxiety, coupled with anxiety, um, this is a wonderful herb for you. Makes a great tea. You can tincture it. Some people suggest 50%. My son Evan, I think, wants to come and be in the video. But um, let's see. It's great for headaches. Just chewing on the leaves is great for headaches. I'm showing them about catnip. Um, it's very well known for that the cats love it. Um, it's a sedative, a mild sedative, calming um, nervine for humans. Um, what else can I tell you about catnip? Um, it's very water soluble. Uh, teas are great um, for kids with pans, panda, hyperactivity, or just like aggressive uh, outbursts. Um, slipping catnip into their diet could be a really helpful thing. Um, you know, in those situations, us parents, oh boy, do we need to take a deep breath and try to ground ourselves when we're helping our child through that situation and anything that we can do to help create more balance is usually welcome. So catnip might really be helpful in that situation. Um, in the Appalachian Mountains, people used to say, the devil's gonna get in your baby if you don't drink catnip tea or you don't give them catnip tea. And uh, that's an interesting way to uh, instill fear in folk. But um, that little folk remedy that, that people would say, um, really had to do with catnip helping to keep the baby calm and soothed and mild and not colicky or fussy. Um, just can really help. Oh, there's a swallowtail butterfly. Um, it can really help the um, just calming, um, nourishing. It's. I wish I. I wish you could smell it. It's. Um, it has a, a very interesting smell but um okay i'm gonna go now <laughs> catnip include it in your diet great for headaches gi issues anxiety um include it in your diet and it will self-seed so um, these catnips here that are coming up in my strawberry bed are gonna have to get pulled right evan you'll help me with that right he's such a good helper yeah. okay thanks guys bye